First, good evening. I'm Randy Beamer and I'm Evie Ramos. Our top story tonight, a multi country investigation into stolen cars led the Mexican military right to 10 trucks, mostly from the San Antonio area that are now in the process of being recovered. And one of those trucks came from the Dodge dealership right here in Bernie and something inside that truck was the key to tracking them down. News 4 San Antonio is live from that dealership with how it all started and then ended. Andrew. Guys, it was around 820 at night two Saturdays ago when workers here realized one of their trucks was being stolen. Now, it turned out the driver was a 15 year old San Antonio boy. He was arrested just a few miles down I-10, but it wasn't until a few days later after an audit when the dealership realized that a second truck was missing. And by the time they realized that it was 160 miles away. And they thought it was a late customer. By the time Bernie Dodge realized a second truck was taken, it was in Mexico. It's gone, right? Well, not so fast, says these two. The Kendall County Sheriff's Office called on over 32 years of experience to crack the case. Investigator Roy Laubach and crime analyst Tara Cantu. We were able to track that vehicle uh, down into San Antonio, and this is where Tara picked up the ball and started running with it. The stolen truck was equipped with an Apex GPS device. Apparently, the thief missed the memo on the driver's side window. With the help of the Fusion Center and Apex sending updates to Tara, Tara was the mouse and the stolen Dodge 1500 was the cheese. Every hour, two, three, four, five, I'm like, okay, where are we going? Where is it? What are we doing? Where do we leave off? I said, this is what we know. It was all day. The exact route taken seen here in this Apex provided map. First east on I-10, onto 410, and then onto 35 south into Laredo and into Nuevo Laredo. Cantu called in her friends at the Border Patrol and Laredo Police where she got these photos. There's the black truck complete with plates stolen from Alamo Heights and... But it's definitely the kid who was, drove it across the border. Apex's detailed map outlines everywhere the truck went, and one day it was driven over 300 miles in Mexico. Here's one spot the truck was going 68 miles an hour on the 27th. It was constantly moving. Uh, That's we, why we couldn't get it. We couldn't get it to stop. But finally, the truck stopped moving at this car lot later on the 27th. At the request of Laredo police, the Mexican military moved in and landed on the bee's nest. The stolen Ram, along with nine other stolen newer pickup trucks, were found, all but one from San Antonio. Labach and Cantu's hunt was over. Awesome. Well, we, we don't look at it as a bee's nest. We look at it as an Easter basket. For us to be able to re, regain these losses and so quickly, it is very rewarding. Cantu's message to any potential future car thieves? Don't do it in Kendall County. Now, this investigation is still very open. The 15-year-old boy isn't talking. Now, if you recognize the man in the photo taken at the border crossing, you're asked to call Kendall County Crime Stoppers at 800-348-LEAD. You can earn up to $5,000 if that information leads to an arrest. We're live in Kendall County, Andrew Lafome, News 4 San Antonio.